All righty. Welcome to another edition of Our Class with Herm. It's so nice to meet you, if I haven't met you yet. Uh, if you couldn't tell, I'm Herm, the only guy in this room. I'm coming to you from my apartment in sunny, beautiful Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And uh, thanks for joining me. So, uh, as I said, if this is your first time here, this is episode eight, which is awesome. Gary Carter is my favorite player. So this number means quite a bit to me. So uh, if this is your first time here, we've done seven other episodes. You can check all of those episodes out on all of the uh, Seven Line social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. And you can also check these out on YouTube, too. So if you'd rather like stream this from your smart TV or Apple TV or so on, you can absolutely view those, too which is kind of nice. So uh, my name is Herm again. I'm a Brooklyn-based illustrator. And today we're going to be going through, uh, we're going to teach you guys how to draw Keith Hernandez and his cat, Haji. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself on all of that. So wanted to check in, see how you guys are doing. Hopefully you're wearing your mask today. So if you're in New York, that is a mandatory thing. So that'll be kind of cool. I've, I've color coordinated my masks with my outfits. So super exciting days here in Hermland. All right, so uh, back to it. I wanted to talk about our drawings from last week. So last week we drew, what last week? Wednesday, oh my gosh, last class I should say, we drew Pete Alonzo and that was a real lot of fun. I, it looked like from all the messages I got and uh, the tweets and, and Instagram DMs and stuff like that, it looks like you guys had a great time and they made some amazing drawings too. So I wanted to take a sec to just like say how awesome and congratulate you guys. That was a tougher kind of drawing, like the legs and some bit of anatomy and stuff. And all of the drawings were amazing. I even saw one on someone's fridge. So that's a pretty high praise. Awesome. So as we do every class, uh, we wanted to just give recognition to some of our favorites. I don't want to say favorites, but ones that we thought were pretty awesome. So uh, we want to give a $10 gift card to the seven line, and that is to Summit, uh, Jean, and Grayson. So your drawings were amazing. Thank you so much for drawing along and sharing. And big shout outs to Jean, too. She said that she's a nurse. So thanks for, you know, fighting the good fight, keeping us all safe out there and healthy. And uh, thanks for taking that, that nice break to draw a little with us. Awesome. Cool. So uh, before we get into our drawing and talk about what we're going to, uh, that sort of thing, let's talk about what we're going to need. So today we're going to be doing our drawing of Keith and Haji. So I recommend something to draw with, a pen, a pencil, crayons, markers. There are real no rules with whatever you want to draw with. Pastels, butter, that'd be crazy. So anyway, the, 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 the world is your oyster with that. I'm just going to be drawing today on a, on a standard piece of eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that I took right out of my printer. So feel free to use as big or as small of a piece of paper that you want to do with that. Awesome. Well, enough of me rambling. Let's get down to the reason you're here. Let's doodle. So here's here's Haji and Keith, my my little artistic representation of them. No, no offense, Keith, you know, any anything you didn't like, but you're a handsome man and a handsome kitty there. So. If you haven't followed Keith on Twitter, you can. It's a pretty fun adventures he has there with his cat Haji. Looks like they're best friends. They have wonderful adventures and times together. One of my personal favorites is it looks like Keith in his backyard has like a, like a cat, party like a like a gym basically. It's like a little outdoor area where you can kind of walk around and enjoy the sights and sounds, of his hometown. So. Uh, some, something fun, one of my favorite Mets personalities and baseball personalities on top of that. So we're going to honor him today and, and his best bud, Haji, will draw him a little cat in himself. Awesome. So I'm going to pull my paper out. Today I'm going to be drawing my drawing horizontally. So like this would be vertically and this is horizontally. So I'm going to be drawing mine like sideways on a paper on there. And that's just because... Our drawing is just a little bit uh, like wider today, and we'll be able to fit it better onto our drawing there. So I'll continuously keep popping this in throughout the rest of the drawing there, so you guys can kind of see what we're doing and follow along. I got this fancy selfie light too. Look how bright and clear it is. Neat, right? Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be great. All right, so let's take our drawing instrument. I'm gonna be using my handy dandy brush pen on here. And just like we do with most of our drawings, when we're drawing like someone's face or Mr. Matt and stuff like that, we're going to start with the nose. So the reason we're going to start with the nose is we're going to put that onto our paper. And that's going to be like our guiding point of where we're going to base everything off of here. 
So if you want to draw like I am too horizontally, this is what the drawing is going to end up looking like. And so you can see I'm going to kind of come like if this is the middle of the paper, I'm going to come just a little bit to the right just so I can fit all that in. So we're going to work on that nose first. All right. Let's make that first mark. So there's many different ways to draw a nose, but the way that I like to do it is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a circle. Nothing too crazy. It doesn't even have to be perfect. Just a circle right there on your paper. So this circle, if you guys want, if you touch your nose right now, you know that part that sticks out the most? That's like this, that part of your nose, where your nostrils are and such. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw that like bridge part in your nose that like separates your nostrils. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this like U. This little U shape right underneath there, if you could see it there. So that's the part that splits up your nose between those nostrils on the bottom. All right, so now we're going to add the right part of the nose here. So the best way I can describe this is we're going to kind of draw like a question mark kind of shape. So let me draw it first so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to come out over here on the right. I'm going to come down. And I'm going to bump up like that. So you see what I mean? It's kind of like a question mark. Like this is like the dot on the bottom and here's like that top part on it. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side of our nose, but just like reflected. So opposite of that. And again, I'm just going to come down. I'm going to start on this little corner here. Come down. And then build my way up there. So, so you can see we're starting to get our nose right here. Almost looks like some popcorn if you followed along in episode two of our art class. All right, so now we're gonna draw like the bridge of the nose. That's the part of your nose that connects like your face to your nose. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw this like kind of like a bendy squiggly line. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna come up right here to like, I guess like the top left part of my nose. I'm gonna bend in, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna add this little line right up there too. So you can get that little line right there. So that's the bridge part of the nose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this like two little quick lines on the right hand side too. Now this is just to give it a little definition. So you know if you if you touch your nose right now there's like that again that bridge part that sticks out it like kind of comes up on the sides. So that's what we're drawing right there just to give it a little bit of a little pop. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start we're going to work on our eyes. So as you can see in the drawing that we're going to be ending up with here Keith and Haji are super happy to be with each other. So they're like, you know, when you like cuddling close to someone you love and you close your eyes, you're like, ah, oh, this is a great moment. That's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to draw like those little, that little curved line right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So first I'm going to start with the left. So my line right here, it's going to kind of come into this area right there. So let me show you. I'm just going to do this little curved line. Just like this. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So what if, so if I have my line here, I'm going to come across a little bit to the right. It's kind of like at the edge of my nostril right here. That's why I'm going to take it at the same height and just draw those little happy eyes right there. Great. So now that we have his eyes are closed, so we're going to add the like the, the eyelid, the part with that like covers your eye when you close your eyes in tight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over on the left and I'm gonna build this shape up that like comes up and then curves like this. Can you guys see that right there? So what this represents, again, if you close your eyes, is that like that piece of skin, your, your eyelid, that covers up your eyeball there. And that's, a, so imagine that our eye is back here. And let's do the same thing on the other end. You can hear my dog running around. She just came back from her walk, so she's doing her daily zoomies. <laughs> so she'll be running around for a few minutes. All right, cool. So now that we have this in there, let's move on down and let's work on that iconic Keith Hernandez mustache there. So this is what we're gonna be drawing. There's gonna be, you see like I have those like little quick lines with that little gray area in the middle. I'm gonna show you guys how to draw that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now this all depends on how big you wanna make his mustache. If you wanna make it like really big, like Sam Elliott or like an old school cowboy or something like that, more power to you, that sounds fun. But I'm gonna make mine, it's gonna kind of be the length of our eyes here. So right underneath his eyes where the nose is. So let me show you what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna take these lines and I'm just gonna quickly take my pencil or pen 
And I'm just going to make these little lines right here. I cut them up. And I'm just going to throw these lines in just to get the shape of our mustache here. I made mine a little low, so let me fix that up here too. Yeah, so there's no right or wrong way how to do this. We're just kind of shaping it out there. Just these quick little lines. This is like how I like to draw hair, you know? It's just like quick little lines, so it gives it a little, a little cool look, you know, while you're drawing on there. Excellent. So I'll give everyone a second to that. Let me fix mine up there too. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the bottom part of that mustache. So what I'm gonna do here, See how I have this like little, like this white area, this blank area in there? How I do that is I just take a step down and I continue to make those little little brush strokes, but just a little, a little longer, you know? So the reason I leave that space in there is because we can use like the white of our paper. It's a lot easier than like going back in later and adding that color in. So we're just gonna leave that in. Let me show you what I mean. So this is how long my mustache is gonna be, right? So I'm just gonna come down and I'm just gonna continue with those with those brush strokes for my mustache. And you see how I'm leaving this like line in the middle, that like blank space? It's best to do that too. If you guys drew along with us when we drew Bobby, Bobby Valentine, where he put that like funny mustache on and sat back on the bench, this is like the same technique we did. So we just kind of added that right on in there. All right, so <laughs> mine is a pretty funny mustache. <laughs> so hopefully yours looks a little bit better than mine, but it's all right. We're just having fun. All right. So now that we have our mustache here, let's draw Keith smiling, right? He's really loving it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this like smiley face, that like curved line. I'm going to put that like right there. So he's like super happy to be here, right? So I'm just going to connect this line right there. So this is like the top part of his bottom lip. So now what I'm going to do is just under here, I'm going to draw another little baby line there. Little curve line. Like that. And that's like the bottom part of his bottom lip. You can already see how happy he is, right? So now that we have that, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a quick line in there. And that's going to show like his teeth. So to do that, I'm just going to like come right in the middle of this line. And draw something like that. Nothing too crazy, just a quick little line there, just to show that like that's where his teeth are. Awesome, cool. So now what we'll do is let's draw in those smile lines. And the smile lines are like these areas on the sides. So the reason that we have this, I don't know if you've ever seen a picture of yourself when you smile and you're like, if you're smiling so big, it's like pushing your cheeks up. It's that muscle in your face, right? So that's what we're going to be drawing right here. It's like he's smiling, pushing those cheeks up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a kind of like a like a squiggly line again. I know that's like the worst way to describe it, but I don't can't think of another one. But let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to draw them on the left and the right side. So I'm going to come up on the left, kind of like by the nose a bit. Come up. I'm going to go in and then come down like that. So you guys see that line there? Squig, can you think of anything else? <laughs> better way to describe that? I'll go with squiggly line. Let me know in the comments if you have a better suggestion. I'm open to it. So now that we did that on the left, let's do the same thing on the right. It's gonna come in, build it in like that. So you can see how happy he is, right? Awesome. All right. So now that we have the build out of our face here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to add in like the side of his face. So this is actually pretty straightforward. So you've already learned how to draw all these lines in our face right here. So this is gonna be just an addition to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up by the eye here, like right on the left eye. And I'm gonna make a line that's gonna come out and it's gonna curve right around our smile line there and it's gonna stop right by the mouth. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna come down. So I bend out. I'm gonna come with this line. And then I'm gonna come right, like right about to this area right there. So again, don't worry if if you messed this up or made it too big or too small or something. When we draw Haji in, we'll be able to cover up any mistakes that we made. We can just add a couple little fur lines and stuff on there. Great. 
So now that we have like the side of our face, let's go in there and let's add our chin. So to add our chin, what I'm gonna do, let me bring my line down just a little bit longer. I'm gonna come up a bit. I'm gonna have this like curved line that comes down. So when I say come up, I'm not gonna connect it directly here. I'm gonna start up a little bit higher. I'm gonna come down and draw like that. So now you can see, right? We have like our, our side of our face here, that cheek, and then our chin. Alrighty. So now that we're starting to get a shape of our face here for Keith, let's go ahead and let's add his eyebrows in. So his eyebrows, they're basically like two commas or apostrophes, you know? So we're gonna kind of draw those those um, those shapes in there. So I'm gonna come up, so our, our eyebrows obviously are above our eyes, right? So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna draw one. It's gonna be between our nose and the side of our head here. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna draw this comma shape. So like basically, so you see it's like a bubble, like a big bubble on the side, and then it comes down towards the end and like gets a little tighter in there, just like a comma. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. So I'm just gonna come right above my eye, add my comma in, pop that in. What's really fun about drawing eyebrows, for example, is it adds a lot of like expression to the face. So like you can have your eyebrows coming down like this, like you're angry or up high, like, oh my gosh, I'm so shocked. But in this case, we have them just kind of resting nicely like your eyebrows normally do to show that you're happy, super excited. All right. So now with our eyebrows here, just like I did with the mustache, I'm just gonna throw a couple little quick little lines in there. And these little lines that I'm drawing, I'm just lightly taking my drawing, my pencil, my pen, my brush, whatever. And I'm just adding these little lines in there just to give it a little bit of definition so it looks like hair, right? And I'll do the same thing over here. So the more you draw, when you especially, hair was always something that I struggled with when I first started drawing. There's a million different ways you can do it. I looked at a lot of comic books to learn how to do that. And uh, my favorite is this guy, guy, John Romita. He drew a lot of the early Spider-Mans and like romance comics. And he draws something like this with these like blanks. So if you look at those old Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy drawings, you can kind of see where I, I was inspired for that. Anyway, okay, cool. So now that we have our eyebrows, our nose, our mouth, I'm gonna draw his ear. So my ear, I'm gonna put like right here. So it's gonna kind of be like right in between the space of our eye and our, our mustache. So again, it's gonna kind of be like a question mark kind of shape I'm gonna make. So I'll walk you through it. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. So I'm gonna probably like right about here is where I'm gonna start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make this, this kind of question mark kind of shape, right? So again, I'm coming up, making this bend and coming down like that. And then I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna finish that with this little bump. So basically it's like, so I made this shape up here, that question mark shape, and then I kind of did the same thing, but upside down and flipped it around. Just made it a little smaller there. All right. So now, now that we have, I guess it's like a, a number three. <laughs> if you watch most of my classes, it's basically 40 minutes of me trying to decide what the shapes look like. So thanks for being on this journey. <laughs> All right, so now that we got our question marks or our upside down number three, let's go in and let's add some of those folds in your ear. So I like to do this. So if you like take your hand and touch your ear real quick, you, see, you feel all those folds and everything going in there. So we're not gonna draw all of those, but we're gonna put like a few lines in our ear there just to give it a little bit of definition to make it look kind of cool. So I always come up here and I draw this like little curve line right at the top right there. Just a little, kind of following the same shape at the front, at the top, excuse me. And then down here, I'm just gonna draw another one like that. Something like this. So it's almost like a sideways Y. Very exaggerated. It's like, oh my God, I'm lying down. <laughs> All right, so we got that Y there. Sorry for my bad jokes. And let's add one more down here. So I'm just gonna make this curve. So 
by adding these three little lines right here, you have just made your ear look a little bit more like an ear, right? Cool. So then one last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a line. I'm gonna draw it like something like that right there for our, to connect our ear to our face. So our ear is just not like floating on our paper. All right. So we're rounded about the halfway part right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw Keith's hair. So there are many ways to do this, but what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to like lightly draw out the shape of the hair that I want. And then we're gonna fill it in like we did with the mustache and the eyebrows. Now, this next step, if you wanna get creative, you can do whatever you want. You wanna give Keith a mohawk, you wanna give him a, a, an afro or like any, any cool hair dude, you wanna make a bald, you could do that. But I'm gonna give him this nice do that he's got right there. So what I'm gonna do, everything I said before with that little shape is I'm gonna come down. So my hair is gonna start like right about here, like where the eyebrow is. So I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna lightly kind of draw in the shape of where I want the hair to be. And don't worry if you mess this up, you can absolutely correct this when we are adding in those lines there for the hair. So I'm just gonna draw like something coming up here. My hair is gonna be a little tighter, bigger at the top. And it's gonna come down <laughs> to something like this. So it almost looks like Keith's a lunch lady. He puts on that hair net, you know, and serve everyone his lunches at school. So again, this is up to you, however you want to do it. But like, again, I just came up and I just lightly drew this line in there, just kind of the shape in it. And you can see I messed up a little bit of mine. That's okay, I can just bring it down, like I said. All right. So I'll give everyone a second there. So again, remember, we're just kind of shaping it out however you want. All right. So now that you have a shape, of what you want your hair to kind of look like. This is just a rough outline, just a little guidance line of where we want to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in these lines right here. So let's take a minute or two and let's add these in. So I'm going to walk you through how to do it. So if you guys want to draw along with me, let's do that. So again, just like I did with my mustache, I'm going to start on the left and I'm just going to add these like quick little lines in there. And I'm just kind of spacing them out just a little bit on the sides. Just to kind of give this like fun. That's what I'm starting with right there. Just these quick little lines there. And then I'm just going to kind of follow along with the shape of the hair that I made. And I'm just leaving a little bit of white space in between. And I'll throw that in there and kind of, kind of just add those in. So now at this point, like, see where I like, I had too much of that line there. I'm just going to cover that up with some more hair. When in doubt, add some hair. So I'm now just going to keep adding these like kind of marks in there. And you don't have to stay within the shape that you made. You can come out a little bit. And just kind of keep adding those lines in. This is, I love drawing the hair on people. It's so fun. You just kind of go on autopilot and you draw them in. So you can see I'm starting to get on there. <laughs> it's kind of fun. So I'm just drawing that in there. And the main thing you want to do here is when you're drawing your hair, it's like, you see my lines, they're like following along with the shape of his head. So like they're coming up, kind of in the middle and then coming down. I'm just going to keep adding those in. I'm just going to keep going on this. So while you guys are drawing that, please let me know where you guys are drawn from. So if this is your first time here, we have uh, an international crew on our class with her. And we have, we have friends in Milan, Australia, Japan, uh, New York, Long Island, some local friends. I'm people all over the country. I see people in, in LA and all over. So I hope you all are doing good. I hope your families and yourselves are safe. And we'll keep drawing with you guys too. Give you something to do. Keep your mind off of Netflix <laughs> all day, or maybe maybe you don't want to make another cake again. Come over here and you can draw with us. We'll always be here with you. It's fun to see your comments and stuff too, because 
it's fun. Like I say, we're get, we're starting to get like a little crew, like a little family here. So we're, we're drawing together, you know. All right. <laughs> so my Keith looks like he has like a toupee. <laughs> That's all right. So what we're gonna do now? Now that I did that with his with his sideburn here, I'm just gonna take like little lines, just a little lighter. And throw those in there. And again, don't worry if it's not perfect. Look at mine. It's not exactly what I wanted, but that's all right. The whole idea is we're just having fun. And remember, if you're watching this at another time, like on YouTube or Facebook or something, remember, you can rewind and go back and draw this as many times as you want. I'm excited to see how they look. All right. So he didn't come here to draw hair all day. Let's continue. All right, so here's my Keith. <laughs> Looking pretty cool, right? You see those like lines in there? So you can see like any any problem where I didn't like that part, I just kind of kept going over it. So it'll look a lot cooler when we color it in at the end. All right, so now that we have our Keith looking, oh, one last thing here. We're gonna add those like, just a quick little line in this forehead. So I'm gonna draw something like this and something like that right there. So these lines, you know when you're like really smiling and you're happy and you're like your forehead crints out, folds up a little bit. That's what those lines represent there. All right. So now let's draw Haji. So this is my excited, my favorite part to draw. I love drawing animals. So just like we drew Keith, remember we drew the the, the nose first? We're going to do the same thing with Haji. We're going to draw a little, his little cat nose. So let me show you how I draw a cat's nose. So we want to decide where we want Haji to be, right? So I want Haji to be right here really close to Keith and really snuggling in like two best buds. So, so I'm going to make Haji just a little bit lower. So here's Keith's nose, right? So I'm going to come down a little diagonally and I'm going to make Haji's nose right about here. I'm just putting that line there that you guys so can see it. All right. So let me show you how to draw a cat nose. So what I do is I'm just going to come up and I'm going to draw this like a little rainbow, this little curved shape up there. So I'll walk you through this one step by step. So I had that little curve. So now that I have, this is the top part of the nose. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add these like little curves coming in, almost like these little U shapes. So you see, it almost looks like a staple. You know, when you pull a staple out of a piece of paper, we have that. All right. So now that we, this is the top of our nose, let's go in, let's build in those nostrils. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna start on my left first. I'm going to make this curved line. I'm going to do that on both sides. So you see that? I started with that, that, that little curve at the top, those two little bumps on the end, and then I added in with these other bumps coming out the other way. And now I'm just going to connect them with another curved line at the bottom. So this is how I always draw a cat nose. I mean, you can go in and get really detailed on it, but you could do this with your dog or your cat. It's always just a cute little nose you can pop in. All right. So now Haji doesn't have a mustache, but we're going to draw now are like his little cheeks and they're going to kind of pop up and make a smile face. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come down here in the middle. I'm going to draw a line like that right there in the middle just right underneath his nose. And I'm gonna come on the left and I'm just gonna draw this like big bump. Just like that. You see how I made that shape? And you can start on the bottom. I just came in and I made like a big lump, little C. C is for kid, C is for cat. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. It's gonna come down and I'm just making this like little curved line right there. So you can see it's like a, a sideways number three. That's a, that's a good way to put it. I'm going to use it. Next time we draw a cat, remind me of that. All right, so these are like his little cheeks right there. So he's smiling. So I'm going to draw another little happy face, a little smile right underneath right there. So these are his cheeks, and this is his little mouth. All right. So we're going to add some whiskers in here in a minute, but I'm just going to kind of place them in. There's just lots of ways you can do this. I'm just going to draw these little circles. I'm going to add three of them. I'm just going to mirror them on the other end. And this is like where the whiskers are going to pop out of his mouth, his little cheeks there. 
All right, so let's leave the, the whiskers for the end. I'm gonna come up now and let's add Haji's eyes. So again, just like we had Keith's eyes where they're like closed, we're gonna do the same thing up here. So I'm gonna come up just a little bit and I'm gonna draw just these little happy face eyes. <laughs> right like that. Really cute, right? So just to just to turn up that cute meter, let's add these little little eyelashes here. So I'm just having these little eyes, these little lines come right off. <laughs> I learned this from SpongeBob. So you can see his eyes right there, a little closed with those little lines up there. And you can add as many as you want. I'm just gonna put three in there. All right. So just like Keith with the bridge of his nose, we're gonna do this a similar thing with Haji here. So Haji's nose, it's like it kind of comes up like this. So I'm just gonna draw these little lines here. Just something like this here. Now the reason I'm, I draw those as little lines like that, like quick little lines to the side, is this is like, you know, cats are, they, they're hairy, right? They have fur. So that just gives us a little, little look of some fur. All right. So now here's Haji's really cute face. Let's go up and we're gonna draw the top of his head and his ears. So the cat's head is round, right? So like basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the, the top part of his head back a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. So I got my pen here and here's our nose and our eyes. I'm gonna come back a little bit. So like probably right about this area right here. And I'm just gonna draw this like little curve line. Something like that right there. This is gonna be the top of Haji's head. So now let's go ahead and let's draw in his ears. So his ears here, they're basically like, I wanna say Doritos, <laughs> but they're like the letter V, but upside down, right? So let me show you. So I'm gonna come over on the left first and I'm just gonna draw my line up. And I'm gonna come up like that. And then I'm gonna come in, maybe add like a little bump. Something like that shape right there, right? So again, all I did is I came up I made a curve at the top and then came down and made another little curve. So you can see our drawings are starting, our lines are very similar to each other that we draw, right? So now I'm gonna make my top of my head a little bit bigger here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end there. I'm gonna draw my other, Haji's other ear in there. So this all depends on how close you made Haji to Keith's face right here. But mine's a little closer, so I'm going to stop with my, my ear right stopping there. I'm going to stop off so it looks like he's behind him. So, like we did with Keith's ears with the folds, let's do the same thing in Haji's ears. So I'm going to come over on the right, and I'm just going to draw another line. It just kind of follows the top line. So you see it there? I'm just kind of following that shape. Let's leave a little space there. And then I'm going to draw another one of those little, that look a little Y so I like that. So you get something like that, right? You see that little, it's like a long Y. Let's do the same thing on the other ear. Sorry if my big arm's in the way there. And this is not to be perfect. This is just to give a little bump in those uh, little ears. All right. So we're almost done here. So now that we have Haji's mouth and his ears and his eyes, we're gonna go around and we're gonna add like, we're gonna add these little fur lines here to kind of to kind of give him a little little oomph, little body shape, right? So basically, we're gonna do like this. Imagine there's like a curved line that comes like this around for his face. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw these like quick little uh, scratchy lines, and I'm just gonna start at the ear, and I'm just gonna quickly throw them in just to kind of round out his head here. Yeah, don't worry, they don't have to be perfect. Just They're just like fur there, right? So if you come across what I did as I came, and just quickly with my pencil or my brush, went like that, paused a little bit, made a couple more lines, paused a little bit, and then made a couple more, just to kind of give a little layout of some fur, right? Now I'm gonna do the same thing at the bottom, so this is gonna be his like his body. So you can make him as, as wide as you want, but he's like kind of snuggling in, right? 
So I'm just throwing those lines in there. And the reason I add these lines is this is like Haji's fur. <laughs> Something cute like that, right? <laughs> so I'll give everyone a second on there to catch up while I have a sip of my delicious coffee. It's cold, not the best. Anyway, all right. So if you look at a picture of Haji, he's got some like some stripes on him, right? So we're going to add a couple little lines in here to give him a little definition. So the first kind of stripes I'm going to do, I'm going to add right in this section right here, just like this. Let me show you. So I'm just going to do the same thing we were doing, but just kind of added just the little ones in there right there. So it looks like he's like all snuggled up. I went a little rogue on this drawing here. All right. So we'll draw in those little little lines there. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you can see just adding a couple of those lines in there. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of definition there. Hadi's also got some on his on his little cheeks up here, like by his eyes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a couple more. So I'm gonna draw just a couple little curved lines here. But what I'm doing is I'm, they're coming bigger and then as I get closer to the eye, I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller. You see this one right here? So I made it a little bit bigger at the end. And as I got closer into the eye, it's like I'm making like a triangle almost, right? A slice of pizza. So I make them they're a little bigger and then they get a little smaller towards the eye there. And I got a little space here too, so I had another one. So now I'm just going a little smaller and then getting bigger as I go towards Keith. I think my dog Daikon, she's barking. She knows I'm drawing a cat. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, so now just like we drew these shapes up here, we're gonna draw the same shapes on top of Haji's head. So like right up here. So I'm gonna do like three. So there's gonna be like one on the left, one in the middle and one on the right. Don't worry, I won't leave you in the dust. Let's draw together. So I'm gonna start on the left and I'm just gonna draw like these same little shapes that we did before. So remember what I did, I started bigger. And then as I got smaller to the end, I made them a little smaller. I'll do the same thing on the right. And then I'll do one more in the middle. So again, just a little bigger at the top. And as I get closer to the end, I make them a little smaller. So everybody's cat looks a little different on there. So this is a kind of looks something similar to this. All right, so let's add those little whiskers in, right? So where however many of those little circles you made, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pen in there. I'm just gonna make a quick little line. Just a fun little line right there. Little meow, little meow, meow, look. <laughs> look at that. So cute, right? All right. So look at these two best friends. They're really enjoying each other's company. So they're snuggled up. What we're going to do now, let's add, we're going to draw Keith's hand in there, and then we're going to draw Haji's, Haji's paw. So the hand, don't worry, This I'm going to break this down for you. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to draw this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the left of Haji. I'm going to come like right in his ear up here and I'm going to come up and I'm going to make a line. I'm going to come down and then bump up like this. So if you've drawn Mr. Met with me, this is like the inside of the hat brim almost a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I came down, out, down, and then bumped up. So what I'm doing now is this is like, if you make a fist, this is your knuckles that we're drawing. So hot, so Keith, he's like kind of petting him with like the sides of his, of his hands. So we're gonna draw these little bumps in your knuckles, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here where I stopped and I'm gonna make three more bumps. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. So this is like your knuckles. There's there's four knuckles, right? One, two, three, four. So that's what we're kind of drawing right here. All right. And then down here on the last the last part of the hand, I'm just going to take a space and draw a little line like that just to kind of round it out. So I'm not connecting it, but just a little line like that. All right. So this line that we made here, I'm going to do that with our other knuckles here just to give us a little definition. So and so what I mean, so every time we stopped, 
you see there's like that valley in there i'm gonna come in i'm gonna take outline so there's one two three so I just added these little lines in there. Little, you can bring them down as far as you want. And then, like I did with our ears, I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna add a little, a little cross on the side of it, a little Y shape. Just something like that. There you go. And that's just like a quick little. This is where the my fist is. Not my fist. My hand on there. All right. So it'll look better when we color it. So let's come over here and let's draw Haji's paw. This little area right here. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna just do kind of like a big shape. I'm gonna kind of draw like, like a bean, you know, like a bean on there. So let me show you. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna make this bump. I'm gonna come around to the top. And I'm gonna connect like that. So you see that shape right there? Looks like a bean, right? Kind of cool. So this is gonna, I'm gonna have them like little three little paw prints. So now on this side, I'm gonna come up with, come over here. I'm gonna curve up and I'm gonna stop like that. So I'm not gonna connect mine, my paws. I said that cute little shape right there. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw these little claws coming out. But they're not like sharp claws, you know, Haji's not mad. They're just like there, just kind of hanging out. So it gives a little pop. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna draw these little U's. So you see, just nice and little. So they're dull, you know, Haji's just like, hey, this is my bud. And then, so take a step back and look. You just drew Keith, Haji, some hands and a paw. Not too bad, right? So let's really add in that love factor of their best buds. I'm gonna draw some hearts. So I'm gonna draw a big heart right up here. Kind of cute, right? And then I'll add some other little hearts there. There we go. <laughs> so you can see how cute they look, right? All right. So if you guys are cool with me, let's uh, let's let's color, right? So you can, if you wanted to stop and think about this, I'm just gonna color along with you guys, and I'm just gonna, like I always say, I'm just using some crayons in here. And what's really fun about crayons, like I always say, is they're like a playful tool, you know. So you don't have to be perfect with it. You can just kind of go in there and add some add some like color, you know. I'm just kind of going in. The reason I like using that that, that brush pen is because the ink, I can go right over it. Just draw over it really quickly. This is cool too, if you guys wanted to like play with watercolor or like gouache or something, you can always put down your ink lines first and then you can put that watercolor paint right on top of it. That's what I do when I draw at the baseball games. I, I draw it in and then I'll add that watercolor in. So I'm gonna add another some over here. So while we're coloring, I know we said before where you guys are drawing from, if you were shy before, don't worry. We're friend, we're all family here. Let us know where you're drawn from. And of course, this is our eighth episode. There's no end in sight. So let us know what you want to draw. You can see they can be they can be something like yeah, I guess more like like a baseball player, like Pete Alonso, you know, hitting a home run. But we can get a little creative with <laughs> with Keith and Haji. So we're pretty open with what we can draw on here. We like to keep it Mets related or baseball related because you know. Most of us here are Mets fans, but anybody is welcome here. Just have a couple minutes every day, about 40 minutes to an hour, where I'm happy to sit down with you guys twice a week. And we'll just have some fun, we're drawing. You guys are keeping me sane. I'm, I'm super grateful to have you guys here in this little, little drawing sessions with us. It's really fun. And it's keeping me up to date on my drawing too. I don't really ever get to draw like this, like with these fun little cute little cartoony kind of characters. So I really enjoy doing that with you. So I'm gonna draw this little paw right there. Alrighty, so I'm gonna draw, <laughs> give Keith a little gray and his mustache there. So this is fun. So you see why I left that like those little white areas, those blank areas. So when I add in the color there, 
it really makes it pop, right? Kind of cool. So again, I'm just throwing these colors in there really quickly. I'm sure you guys didn't want to come here just to color with me all day. Just gonna throw that in there. Get a little hodgy, little black nose, little cutie. And then I'm gonna take my red for those hearts right there. Just pop that in right there. I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's Keith and Haji drawings there. And Keith, if you come across this man, we love you. Post your drawing too. That would be so fun. We, we can trade if you don't mind. I'm happy to give you one of mine. All right, look at that. <laughs> If you ever one day woke up and you were like, man, today I'm going to draw Keith and Haji, but I guess I never will. Guess what? Dream come true. Pretty awesome, right? So before we end, I'm going to grab my pen right here. We always like to sign and date our drawing, right? That way somebody's like, what a great drawing. Let me steal that. Hey, no way, bro. I signed it. That's mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm on the bottom right. I'm just going to sign my little Herm signature there. smiley face and then we're gonna date it i don't know what today's date is april 15th 16th oh whatever i'm just gonna make it april april 2020 you guys can let me know in the, in the comments what the date is there but the reason that i like to date my my drawings too is if you can just process and see how much better you get at drawing overall so you know maybe a couple weeks from now if you keep drawing or years from now and such you can kind of look back and be like, wow, look what I drew and look how much better I've gotten at it. And it's really cool too, you know, like when once like life gets back to a little normalcy and we're sitting around at the baseball game and stuff, maybe a year from now, uh, we can all sit down, you can pull out your drawings. It's kind of like a nice little, little book, a little collection that you can have. Awesome. So there it is. There's your Keith and Haji drawing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone's looks like. So with that, let us know, show, show it to us. So you can send me your drawings. You can tag me at Herm Herman on Instagram. That's the best way. I'm, I'm so addicted to Instagram. I got to take a break, but I love to see everyone's drawings. If you're on Twitter, you can tag me at Herm's Terms. I'd love to see it on there. And don't forget to tag the seven line. That way we can all see it in our family, right? And we can all, with our nice drawing crew, and we'll share and I'll repost. And I'm happy to answer any of your questions and talk about that. And if you want to see any some more of my work, some more like non-baseball kind of work, you can check out my website at hermsterms.com and you can check out everything that I'm doing there. So again, make sure to sh uh, show us what you're drawing. We're going to pick out three people to give a $10 gift card to the seven line. And we'll let you know next, next drawing. And spoiler alert, next week we'll meet. So we're going to be doing these classes every Wednesday and Friday and they'll be premiering at noon Eastern time. But next Wednesday is Earth Day. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw Mr. Met kind of hugging the earth, right? That's cute. <laughs> but don't, this will be pretty straightforward. So it's just a lot of circles and stuff. So if you were able to draw Keith and Haji smoothly, this is going to be really fun and awesome for you. But I've talked enough. Thanks so much for drawing with me, guys. You guys are better than best. You make every day so much better. I'm happy to be here with you. And keep drawing. Can't wait to see you. And I'll catch you next class, all right? See you soon.